Okay. We've already started a new sketch, so we have it sitting here, and this is normally what comes in with Arduino when you start a brand new sketch. So you have this void set up, put your code here to run once, put this, it runs repeatedly. Um, this sketch is going to work a little bit differently um, than your standard Arduino sketch. There's not a lot or barely anything that really goes in the loop. But the first thing we need to do is I'm going to move that down a little bit. Okay, we're going to import the Bitvoicer library. Remember, we just put that in there, so we're going to include Bitvoicer 11.h. Okay, that allows us to use Bitvoicer. Okay, it in imports everything. Okay, now we need to initiate the Bitvoicer serial class. Okay, so bit. Don't forget your line endings. Um, biggest headache you will ever have. Okay, so we've done that. We've imported the Bitvoicer library. We've assigned the Bitvoicer class. Now, within Bitvoicer, now we need to store the data type retrieved by get data, which is a command within the library of Bitvoicer. So this is a byte. It's always a byte. Um, there's several different options here. To be honest, from what I can see, this doesn't really matter, but four means string. Um, you can always convert a string to an int if you have to. You cannot convert an int to a string. Actually, yes, you can. Okay. Um, now we need to do, basically, create an array for all of the output pins. This makes things a little bit easier later. Um, kind of a pain right now. And I'm sorry, I'm going to copy and paste our output pins here. Um, So remember, I keep saying we're using pins 32 through 53, okay? I'm going to have to count these. I think that's 22 pins. Yep, 22 pins, okay? Now, because I haven't found out if Arduino is capable of doing an automatic count of the array, Okay, we go ahead and assign a pin count here. Um, basically, in this one, we have a couple other things we can do, but we're not going to right now. Uh, we'll stick with the basics, and then we'll get into some more advanced stuff. Okay. Um, so now we are actually going to skip down to our setup. As with all Arduino sketches, Okay, we need to go ahead and start serial communication. Okay, so serial dot begin ninety six hundred line ending. Okay, um, now the reason why we set up the array up top is because um, we're actually going to use a for loop right now to loop through all of the different pins above and set them all as outputs. Okay, so um, so four 
int. We're creating an int right now, a variable. Active pin equals zero. Okay. Active pin less than pin count. All right. So here's our pin count here. So it's less than the pin count. Active pin increase and so what we want to do is we want to assign our pin mode output pin For an active pin, the int we assigned above as output. Okay. Now, um, I mean that's the basic start. We need to go ahead and close that. That's the basic start of your void setup. Uh, void loop, believe it or not, we don't need to do anything with. We're going to leave this alone any completely. I'm going to skip on down, and what we need to do is we need to set up a void dot, excuse me, serial event, because we're not looking to loop through this. We're only looking for when it communicates from okay, we're only looking for when it communicates from the uh, BitVoicer program. So we want to go ahead and get our data type. And always remember to put comments. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and get our data type. Got to remember my comments. Okay, so we just we're looking for that data type that basically we set up up here. Okay, we set it as a default of a string, but right now we're getting that from the serial command. Okay, so now we want to check if the data type is the same as the one coming from BitVoice. Okay, so if, I remember which language I'm programming here, data type equals, remember we set up a bunch of INTs in BitVoicer, BV, INT, always get in the habit of closing your stuff as you write it, okay, then we want to go ahead and do an int pin number. Let me give you some more comments here. Again, what we're doing here is we're trying to avoid a bunch of if-else statements. Normally what you would do is you would say if um, basically the serial data equals this, then do this, else if, do this, do this. That's what most of the examples on this do, but there's an easier way. It requires a lot less coding, a lot less memory on your Arduino sketch. Okay, so we're going to assign... We 
I'm going to assign an INT to hold a PIN number. INT PIN number equals AB serial dot INT data. Okay. So basically we've read the data. We know it's an INT already because it's running if data type equals BVINT. Okay, so the pin number equals BV serial INT data. Our next line, write to the pin number based on the current state of the pin. Let's rephrase it, of the output and reverse it. Okay. That's what we're going to do here. So digital, right, basically high or low. We want to write it to the pin number. And how do we want to write that? Not, now we do a digital read on that same pin number. Okay, so basically what this is doing is it's writing to the pin number where it's not the current state of the pin, so it'll toggle itself on or off. You don't have to put high and low in here a whole bunch of times. Now we just want to assign a little bit of a delay, um, just because it's kind of neat. No other reason. It'll run without the delay. Um, but again, I mean, it's all instantaneous for the most part. Okay, so we went ahead and closed that. Now you remember from our bit voicer before, uh, we assigned a few strings, right? So if data type, what do you think it's going to be? String okay. So if data type is a string, okay, I'm going to put a comment in here. This is more along the lines of um, the if-else statements, what we're going to do here. Okay? So we say if BB serial, the serial data coming from Bitvoicer, string data equals awning L1. Okay, so if BV serial string data equals awning L1, okay, basically what we can do, just a quick and simple, is a digital write. Uh, we know what that pin number is, it's 52 high. Now we can put an else if in here. Put the rest of this in. Bear with me here. Remember I said ones and zeros for off and on, okay? So else if the string data awning is off, we basically, and just because we're going to copy this and paste it here, I don't like extra spaces. I'm going to change this to low. Okay, this is what you run into if you don't use this loop above. See, this here will loop through every single pin based on the command that it's given, the pin number that it's given from Bitvoicer, okay, 
and you don't have to do all of this. This is what happens when you run strings. And remember, we also set up a slide. So bb serial dot string data right okay so now to make things easier we're just gonna copy that and paste it here then we're gonna change this to a zero and change this to low. All right? So now we basically have our sketch that will control all of our pins um, based on what we set up in Bitvoicer. Just double check something here. Yep, that's it. That's all we've set up for now. So this is your basic. Um, bit voicer sketch to control a few different pins, 22 different pins. These ones will switch it on and off um, just based on its current state and these will actually turn it on or off depending on what you say. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna call this instruct one Okay, so we just created an instructable one. Okay, so we went ahead and saved that. Now at this point, you can go ahead and upload this to your Arduino. So of course, you'd go ahead and click run. You can verify that it compiles and everything first, make sure there's nothing missing. I usually forget one of these here, the line ending, so it usually fails out, which I didn't this time. So, you can go ahead and upload this to your Arduino. Um, so, let's go ahead and hit upload. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start. And the next one, we'll go ahead and start up uh, Bitvoicer. Now, if by chance you open this as as administrator you'll be able to do the next step. Remember I said there wasn't any samples in the uh, example folder in the Bitvoicer profile so if you look here there was no Bitvoicer there. There is in mine but we're gonna go ahead and hit save as. Now what we want to do is we want to navigate to your Arduino install location, to the libraries, to Bitvoicer, to examples and we're going to say Instructable 1. Save. Okay. If you're running as administrator, it'll allow you to do that. If you are not, generally it'll pop up an error, especially if you're on Windows 8. And you'll have to close it, reopen uh, the Arduino IDE as administrator so that you can save to the full. Either that or you can just go to where you save this one, copy it, and paste it into that location. So now if we went into examples, of course, usually you have to restart. See, I don't have any Bitvoicer in here. I would have to restart the program, come back, and it'll be there. But this is there for you all the time now. So that's the end of this video. That's the basic sketch that we put together. Okay, and in the next video, we'll show you what that does. Thank you very much for watching, and look for the next video.